Alright, so thanks so much. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Minecraft video pretty quickly in Microsoft Word and using a browser. I do have a number of other videos which go into detail in terms of creating thank you tags, circular tags, square tags, as well as manipulating fonts and images. Um, but again, this is a pretty uh, simplistic invitation to create. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is click on File, New, and we're going to click on a blank document. We then want to go to Page Layout and we want to do Orientation to Landscape. And the reason why we want to do this is we're going to create a 5x7 invitation, so an invitation that fits in a 5x7 envelope. So we want to have more real estate horizontal-wise uh, than vertical. Okay. Next thing we want to do is get this background image. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go up to, let's start this search again. Google and you could use any search engine you want and we're going to search for Minecraft Sky. And then we're going to go ahead and click on images and we're going to scroll down till we see something similar to what we want. Okay. On here we can actually see related images and um, you're going to get a number of other images that look similar to the image that you clicked on, um, which I actually use often. And this is the ac exact image that I use for the invitation. So we're going to go ahead and right click, save this picture as, and we can save this as background. Okay. We can now um, go back and we want to insert a picture and we want to insert our background. Now, if you try to move this image around, you're not going to be able to. So what you want to do is click on either layout options or you want to left click and click on wrap text and we want to put in front of text. Once you do that, you can very easily move this image around and you can be sure that it's centered when you see those green lines. I don't know if you can see that sort of cross in the middle, but that ensures that that image is now centered. Okay. And next thing we want to do is we want to make this obviously five by seven. So let's go ahead and make this five inches. And then what we want to do is we actually want to drag this over till we see it's close to the seven. And we can move this over even more. And as we we move this, you can take a look in the right. We can see this is moving to the five by seven. Now, if we just change this to seven, you're going to see that it's actually not going to crop the image. It's just going to change the dimensions. Um, so that's why I'm actually uh, doing it this way. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, what we want to do is again, let's get that sort of centered again. Okay. Now what we want to do is create a background or a border on this. So from here I want to do picture border and I want to make it black. And I want to do the weight of the picture border um, a little bit deeper. Okay. So now let's take a look back at our invitation again. Now we want to create sort of this box in the middle where it has the details of the birthday party. Okay. So we're going to go through and we're going to insert a shape and we're going to insert a square. And we're going to make this square, um, instead of 5 by 7, let's make it um, 3 by 5. And let's maybe do 3.25 by 5.25. All right, that's about right. And we can move that to be sure that's in the center, OK? Uh, now what we want to do is click on Format, and we want to do um, Shape Fill we want to use this gray. Okay. And let's actually use that gray. And now we want to do shape outline of this green and we want to do the weight. Let's do two point. And we want to make this dash to make it sort of like the little squares like Minecraft. Okay. Now we want to insert a text box and we want to draw the text box and we're just going to go ahead and draw the text box right there and we want to say you're invited to 
Kohl's seventh birthday. Lucky strike. And let's just put spaces for now. Oh, actually, lucky strike. And then we do a pipe, which is basically holding down the shift key and it's above the enter key. We do 700 Bellevue Way, Northeast Suite 250. Good. Square. Wow, my typing is something to be said for. Mall. Saturday, September 17th, 4 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. And then we'll add the rest in later. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and do a couple things. So if we click out of here, we can see this text box has this sort of ugly white around it. So we want to ensure that that text box is selected. We want to click in format and we want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. Okay, the next thing we want to do is change the fonts. Um, I used. Uh, Eras Light ITC and the size of this is 22 and I went ahead and centered that okay now um, the next thing you want to do is actually click on the spacing because you can see the spacing is kind of off the spacing is pretty far you want to highlight this and click on line spacing and you want to ensure that the line spacing is at single and that's set to zero okay now for Cole's seventh birthday i actually use a minecraft font so you can go back to google and type in minecraft fonts and you could download literally thousands of Minecraft, or literally thousands of different fonts, okay? Um, and in fact, here's two right now. But what I want to do is go ahead and download this. And it says it is downloading, and we can go ahead and open that. And then we can see that this is in a zip folder. So we actually want to highlight the two true type font, which are dot .ttf files. And we, well, we can just do it in this extract all. I, should have said. So then, once you do that, you can simply right click and click on install. I already have this installed, but we can just go ahead and install over it. But that's how you install that new font and get that Minecraft font. Okay. Um, so now we want to highlight this and we want to use Minecraft or Alt for this. And this is a size 30 and the font color is white and I actually have an outline of black and I want to obviously center that as well and I want to actually center everything okay now the lucky strike 700 Bell Bellevue way and the rest of this information is actually all the eras light and the size is 16 okay now I want to add in the cake pizza, hot dogs, chips, bowling, video games, okay? And the font is Minecrafter. A lot of fonts on here. It's actually just Minecrafter. And what I want to do here is I want to insert, because if you see here, I have these blocks, which is you know what obviously Minecraft is made out of. So I want to insert a symbol, and I want to insert the square. And if you don't see that square, because I obviously recently used it, you can um, find it on here. And this is under the windings, and it's actually just right there, okay? So I want to click over here, and I want to do insert my square. And I want to go here, and I want to insert my square, and I want to go here, and I want to insert my square. Okay. 
And from here, these um, symbols are normal fonts. So from here, I can just go to home and I can change this to this color and do the outline. And I can change this to green and I can change the outline and I can change this to red and you want the outline and I could change this to white and you can have the outline okay and then finally we're gonna put in the drop off welcome and actually let's go through and change this font so we can see what it looks like with the capitalized drop off welcome no siblings please to minecraft at gmail.com or Five, 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 five. Now, if you see here, this automatically puts that link in order to get rid of that. You want to highlight that, right click, and do remove hyperlink. Okay? And um, you're almost done from there. What you want to do as well, let's actually add another little space right there. And now what we want to do is we want to add a couple of these images. Rather than going you and showing you how to find these, they're pretty easy to find, but you can find, um, you know, pictures, just do Minecraft logo, and it'll come on, come, um, you can find it a million of them. Again, I can't move us right away, so I want to right click, wrap text in front of text, and now I can easily move this. And you can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we want to insert a picture, and I just did a search for Minecraft characters. We want to insert the guy. Once again, we want to do in front of text. Now you see this guy has this white background. Um, you can do two things. If you have a current version of Microsoft Word, um, you can click on remove backgrounds and highlight him and say keep changes and now you just have the character. If you have a prior version of Microsoft Word that doesn't give you that option, um, you can always look for a .png extension and that .png extension will have sort of that translucent background. Um, so for instance, if I do click on pictures, this dog is a .png background and it has a transparent background already so I won't have to do that remove background. And again, I have a number of videos that go into that in detail and you can move this right here. And that is how you can create this Minecraft uh, party invitations pretty darn easily. And I actually printed them out and they turned out really cute and they fit perfectly in that five by seven envelope. If you like this video and you find it useful, please feel free to like the video. I also have a number of other videos which go into creating tags, thank you tags, circular tags, other birthday party invitations, um, creating flyers, black and white flyers, and I'm adding new vi videos regularly. Thanks so much.